Hey, this is MassX with a brand new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And boy, did they wait to the last minute to drop this one. But yeah, we have for the limited banner this month, we've got SSR Plus Kogetsu. Now, the big question is they have told us there are two SSR Plus is coming this month. We still don't know how Garu is coming out, but let's focus on Kogetsu right now. So what's the skill kit? entail for this character it's a column dps breakthrough trigger stun removal self-heal team support via shared damage minions yeah that's a mouthful he's a grappler monster yeah another grappler basic attack is 120 percent attack single target the ultimate attacks enemies in the column with three consecutive strikes dealing damage of 150 percent attack and 42 percent max hp triggers breakthrough cancels normal and special unyielding effect trigger once on each target in an attack the passive when battle begins permanently increases self max hp by a hundred percent recovers 50 percent of max hp basically another <laughs> that's so true um before next round begins recovers 50 percent of max hp before any unit moves remove stun from an ally up to two times per round yeah, nice little kit on this character. This character was a very big deal on other regions when he came out. The question is, what's going on with us right now? We'll talk about that more in a bit. The Awaken passive, when battle begins, summons one crow, 400% of Goketsu's original HP. One of them will share 85% damage for allies in Goketsu's row. After consuming all HP, deals extra damage by 30% of max HP to three random enemies, which are not in any unyielding state. Reduce main targets enhanced unyielding state by two actions. That is just awesome. The ultra ultimate increased crit rate and crit damage by 30%. Column attack goes to 180%. Max HP damage goes to 54%. The extreme passive recover HP before the round, next round, goes to 70%. Yeah, you heard me right. 5P passive, recover HP before the next round, 90%. Remove stun three times versus two. Awaken two, you summon two crows versus one. Pretty sick character. Um, Gogetsu's crows can share damage with Boros minions. The highest goes first, crow. Boros. King's drones can share damage together with Gogetsu's crows and Boros minions. Gogetsu's damage will not share between others. Gogetsu's HP will be cut based on 200% HP. Gogetsu's damage needs crit if tank just stack HP. Gogetsu crows remain on the field even after removed from the battle. All enemies will be reduced unyielding by two turns after the explosion from crow crow's explosion extra damage can be shared by crow itself for 85 percent if gogetsu's breakthrough unyielding garu's follow-up cannot break through unyielding because only trigger once per turn if ally move in the same target with the same effect and we'll talk about that because garu has the same type of breakthrough with unyielding but it is only once per turn unyielding will be affected by ssr plus as increase the unyielding turn and decrease the turn now the suggest suggested gear for this character it's pure hp as you would expect from everything we've talked about he's basically going to be looking at a build very similar to ck so it's going to be drive, magic, battle, etc. Pure HP, 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 HP. Your buff gear is going to be the same. HP percent, HP percent. So pretty, pretty simple. So um, you can look for some sub stats like crit percent, like we talked about earlier. If you're going to get the KS, as well as you know anything that reduces damage is going to be great. So let's talk about why Koketsu. He's tanky. <laughs> yeah, duh. With super heals, I mean, the self heals are crazy. 5P, it gets up to 90%. The ult's quite strong, especially with KS, 180% attack plus 54% HP, and crit slash crit damage plus 30%. Team support by sharing damage via his crows. Of course, we love that. Stun removal, definitely. Um, trigger breakthrough, which is currently a counter to many units. And Gero's core, which we love, have already seen. 
great for both PvP and PvE, uses HP as his damage. HP percent base, which is always great. This means you just need to pump HP to get more DPS and survivability. Has synergy with Gyro Plus. Also, too, shared damage minions is always a good fit in any lineup, of course. Boros Plus, he's still useful. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it just matters what type of team build you want to make. You can go like a super tanky um, team. I mean, think about that. If you had um, CK, Koketsu, Boros, of course, the Gyro Core, and that leaves you two spots. Think about that for pure tankiness. Let's say you throw in King in there. And then you put maybe one pure DPS that you want to use. Um, if you went for Garo, could be Garo. Um, if you wanted to use your Atomic Samurai. I mean, it's, yeah, it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking cool. The cons, you have to Oct 2 and KS, period. But what's new when we talk about these characters? Um, here's the biggie, and this is what we need to talk about, especially when we're talking about global. Meta life is not as long when specialized protection meta starts coming out, um, that's basically DSK and the DK plus core. If they speed things up, his meta life may really diminish. And that's what scares me about this. Um, because we're doing a, a two SSR pluses this month. What happens if we get to, and not next month, but the after, and if we're on now a pickup to get us to UR? So it does, that's that's a potential issue. Just keep that in mind. Um, so really, yeah, he's a solid character. I'm, I'm not going to tell you he's not. He's really good. But because of the uncertainty right now, I don't, I can't recommend this character for anybody at this point. Um, you know, like I said, in other regions, he was a must pull, but honestly, if they start speeding things up and his meta life drops off, he, yeah, we've already seen that happen with characters and quite honestly, it's just not going to be worth it because you're going to have to factor in your build time. You're going to have to factor in where you're going to put him in. So Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. So to me, sadly, uh, as much as I like this character, he's a hard skip for free to play, especially if you're low on resources or you pulled an Atomic Samurai banner, which should mean you are low on resources. If you're a light spender, I think it should be a hard skip for you too until we learn some more with what's coming with Garu. At this point, is it going to be a banner? Is it going to be some other means in the game? We just don't know at this point. It's all speculation. Um, if you're whale, then of course you could give a rat's ass what I say, and you're probably not even listening to this video. So yeah, in the end, a solid unit, great unit not a must get and right now with the uncertainty of our future with this game and how things are going to play out with these banners i would say this is a hard skip for most so let me know your thoughts on this with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot have a great day